And we have our Woman Crush Wednesday here on Hello Nigeria from Skinny Girl in Transit, from Giddy Up to Skinny Girl in Transit. She has constantly stolen our hearts on our TV screens. Today we have with us Sharon Oja, who will share her journey and her story. Always looking pink, Sharon. <laughs> <laughs> like, you don't even play, but it's such a delight to have you, Sharon. Thank Welcome. you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, guys. First of all, Sharon, I yes. must say that you're a delight. You Thank know, you're, you. you're, you're easy, you're very likable Thank and very you. charming. Has it always been like that? Or is it something that you picked along the way as part of your tricks of the trade? No, I think because of the kind of family I grew up in, it was easy to be like this. I, I grew up in a very loving family. We're very closely knit. So I'm, where I'm coming from, choked, I'm choked with love. So it's, it's easy for me to pour out because I have so much to give. Oh, brilliant. Yes. Oh, wow. let's, let's go back to the beginning, Sharon. I, I was confused as to your, or your state of origin. So yeah. online, we see, well, there's so much as some people say you're from Kaduna, um, you know, I've heard Benue. I'm not quite sure. So where exactly are you from? I'm from Benue State, but I was born in Kaduna, and then I grew up in Joss. Oh, wow. So are you yes. a proper northern girl? I'm a full northern girl. And you're I'm not Kadan, kadan. <laughs> small, small, small. Why? <laughs> well, uh, it's just, I was, let me just say I'm an Ajebo northerner. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm a full, like, I'm a northerner at heart. Love mm. northern food. You know, hello. Yeah, I saw your hair. Yeah, you can't take it away from me. Oh, that's but, nice. Yeah. All right, so let's start with, you know, your journey into acting. We've all fallen in love with you and your acting, but we want to know exactly where it started. Many people knew you from, I personally knew you from Skinny Girl in Transit. Okay. But where did the journey officially begin from? Um, actually from Giddy Up. So I did, I was in Giddy Up season two, but I played someone's friend. It was more like a waka pass role. But I was still glad to at least try something out. And then Skinny Girl came and it just blew <laughs> from nowhere like I didn't even we probably didn't expect that it would do mm. but it was so it's been a fantastic storyline so I guess that's because it's relatable I guess that's why everybody loves it I can relate to it as well okay so you auditioned for Skinny Girl in Transit well I would say my audition was giddy up because that was okay. like my first time working with Indani so okay. they probably had seen what I could do and then they called me for Skinny Girl in Transit based on my character from giddy up Okay. Yes. Let's look at your character on Skinny Girl in Transit. <laughs> Very interesting character. Yes. Are you in any relate? What are the areas, you know, of her? <laughs> Don't give me that look, Sharon. What are the areas of her character that you see in yourself on a daily? And what are the areas that you can't associate with? The areas I can't associate with are she's, 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 sometimes she's irrational. I'm not like that. I'm an overthinker. I think too much. <laughs> I can relate to her being spoiled because I'm spoiled. My family, they know me. They're probably watching this and they're like, yes, yes. <laughs> we are, all of us in the family are spoiled. A lot of you guys can relate. <laughs> okay. Yes. So to that extent, I'm a very mommy, mommy girl. If you know me, you say, oh, my mommy is, oh, my, I'm a very I'm a mommy girl. Oh, yes, scale. I remember when your mommy won an award I'm and you followed her on the And I am proud. My mommy. <laughs> I'm a mommy and my sister, my sister, my sister girl. Oh. So, yeah, so to that aspect, I can relate to Shalewa because she's very close to her family. Everything is her family, her family. So to that, you know, yeah. And then the relationship with her mother, where her mother knows everything down to all her relationships with no judgment, I can relate. But every other thing, no. Chalewa is not normal. Okay. <laughs> so how has people's reaction been, like, in reality to your character? You know, like, you walk on the street and somebody says, yeah, that's that materialistic girl in skinny girl in transit. <laughs> See, has you that know, ever every day of my life. Today, I posted something on my Snapchat talking about my Bible verses, because I do all the time on my Snapchat. And somebody said, oh, we love that you read your Bible, please forget, uh, forgive Mohammed. I'm like, do you realize that this is, <laughs> this is my real life? Aww. But I guess I, I, don't, I take it as a compliment because if I wasn't doing it well, they wouldn't take it so personal. Mm. So I have no issues with that. Because, All right. Yeah. We'll still come back to your characters, Shaliwa, but let's look at your relationship with Mohammed. Now, you and Timini Ebuson have such a fantastic chemistry. Yeah. Was there anything you needed to do other than just rehearsing together to be able to bring that chemistry on screen? He's fantastic and he's easy to work with. And because he's a ladies' man, and when a guy is a ladies' man, it's easy to just, if you put him close to any other girl, trust me, any other movie you watch him, you'll be like, oh my God, they should be together. Same thing. But because him and Shale, based on Shalewa's um, past, He's like a breath of fresh air. So that's why our relationship is so, it's like, thank you for this one. And then because he's easy to work with, 
it looks like we, we really, really do have something going on. So I guess we're doing our jobs well. Very well, actually. <laughs> Why don't you want to forgive him? <laughs> uh, you watch it and find out. <laughs> <laughs> but have you, have you gotten people who actually believe that you and Timini have something to do in real life? Yes. Like you have a relationship? Every single day of my life. In my DMs every day, they go stop pretending, don't pull out now. This one I'm banking on us. We see you. If you comment on my picture, eh uh -huh. If I, I'm scared to even comment on this picture. So let's just put it out there. <laughs> like Sharon Oja. Yes. Are you Egurube. Egurube. <laughs> yes. In are you in any way, shape, or form dating a certain young man, Timini Egbusa? I am not dating Timini Egbusa. I'm a single young lady. Speaking hmm. of single, I like that, you know, that title. Are you single, single, or, you know... Single, single. Single, single. Yeah. And are you open to being in a relationship? Why not? I'm of age. I come to my mother. At your age, I had my three children. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yes. My mom got married really early. So Aww. for her, it's like, hmm, we didn't baby girl. Now. Every time she reminds me, you know what? Don't let the fame get to you. Don't. Settle down now. So if you're hearing, please. <laughs> it's hard to settle. <laughs> do, you, do you at any point feel the pressure of getting married? Because we find that as girls, as young girls, sometimes there's a lot of, you know, breathing down your neck. And do you sometimes worry about the quality of man you would get? Do you worry that he would be drawn to the Sharon Ojai Gurube that is famous, not the Sharon Ojai Gurube that is you? Definitely. Um... I ha I'm, I'm not in any shape or form pressured. Um, I believe that God's time is the best. And with love, you can't force love. Love happens on its own. Um, obviously, I'm really scared about the kind of guys I've been attracting because, um, of course, they see me and they don't realize that there's so much more to me than all of this. This comes with the package, but there's so much depth to me. There's so much more that I can deliver other than what you see on TV. But, you know, because TV is what they see, an image has been created. And it's only like my mom says, you're a queen and not everybody deserves to know you. So I believe that the people who get to really know me and understand me are the privileged ones. Okay, speaking of you being a queen, has there ever been times when you felt weak? Hmm. Sister, even yesterday morning. Why? <laughs> no, really? obviously, but we, we get to that point where you sit down and you ask yourself, um, is everything okay? Not because of anything else. It's just sometimes the caliber of people that come to you. Because of how you look, they expect that the first thing that must, they must do must, must be to troll certain things in your face. And naturally, I'm someone who is attracted to intelligence in people. I love intelligent conversations. I'm, I'm very inquisitive. So I can sit down with you and ask you 100 questions because I just want to know. But this person is not interested in me getting to know them, ah, I'm going to fly this, I'm going to buy this, Gucci shoe. Gu uh, uh, uh. don't really care about I, all that. I don't care. Mm. This is just an image. Trust me, it is, I repeat, a simple image. You cannot simply judge me based on this. Sharon, are there certain misconceptions that you, would, you wish you had an opportunity to correct? Of course, there are a lot. But I repeat, <laughs> I can't please everyone. Okay, can you, can you give us an insight into maybe an, one or two of these mis misconceptions that people have about you? So obviously, if you go through my page and you see how I look, you assume this girl is very materialistic. Obviously, I love the good things of life. Everybody here, including me and you, we all, why are you working to afford the good things of life? But I'm not one to let these things consume me, you know? And people will believe that this is just her. Some people see me and assume that I'm stuck up. If you know me, you know I'm a local babe. I'm, See, I even love local food. I'm not one to constantly want gourmet meals. Anybody who knows me, probably my sisters are watching this. I, <laughs> this is probably embarrassing. <laughs> but I'm one of those people who can eat swallow for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Wow. Like full Benway babe to the core. How the yam kind of swallow? I, I'm not even like, like, if you go to my place, if you don't say stop, they'll keep giving you pounded yam. Wow. I, I've heard that about yeah, Benway people. Yeah, it's not a lie. Very, very warm and receptive. And I'm very typical in that area. Please, when can I get an invitation to your house? <laughs> you are welcome to my house anytime. <laughs> so you see, people see me and assume, oh, this one is probably just pizza. No, why can't you tell me, oh, let's go and eat Amala together? Because sincerely speaking, that's what I want to eat. Hmm. All right, let's talk about, you know, adjusting to fame. I don't know yeah. if you were prepared for fame before Skinny Girl in Transit. Skinny Girl in Transit came and blew up. Were you prepared for fame? And what are some of the shockers that you've had to adjust to? A lot. Um, I definitely wasn't prepared for this, but obviously God had this plan out for me. Um, I've had to adjust to a lot of meanness. Um, because of, we, we women, we are the ones who are constantly preaching, oh, 
women empowerment, but we're the first to always be mean to each other, always the first to bring down each other, always the first. I've had to adjust to a lot of insults, a lot of insecurities that I personally have to cover up and act like, no, oh, I'm good. But um, I've witnessed where a woman is outrightly being mean to me for absolutely no reason, even when I'm sincerely trying to be nice. Mm. I, the other day, I, I've witnessed somebody, and you know, acting is a mental thing. If you go for a reading, you know, if any good director you work with tell you, you can't, even if you're trying to correct your acting, someone can shout at you before, no matter how professional you are, because you're, it would affect you. You have people who you're, you, who you're working with who are trying to make you feel like what you're doing is nothing, you know. And you also have to make yourself feel like, okay, I'm going to do this because I'm not here for them. I'm going to deliver either way. I've dealt with a lot of that, a lot of... You know, just because they see how I look, they assume she's going to be bitchy, so they're automatically bitchy. They don't want to even see that I might be a nice person. And you are a nice person, at least. From the first time I met you, you've been absolutely <laughs> delightful to be with. Thank you. I'm glad that you mentioned insecurities, and I, I want to ask this question because there are many of us who have parts of our life hidden away. People see you on camera, and you just think you have it all figured out. Yeah. Have there been, or what, what are some of the insecurities you've had to deal with? you know, as a young girl, you know, trying to build a career in Lagos. I'm asking this because there are several young girls who have several insecurities with how they look, yeah. with their talent, and asking if they're ever good enough. So if you'd be kind enough to share maybe one or two insecurities you've had to deal with and how you were able to deal with them. Um, a lot. <clears throat> because basically, majority of the time, people see me wearing makeup. Obviously, I have good skin on this makeup, but I see a lot of girls telling me, oh, I'm, 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 I'm not um, comfortable going out without makeup. I'm in the itty bitty community, clearly. And you can see the reason why I'm proudly rocking it is because I've had people come on, under my page and call me a boy. Hmm. Yeah, but I'm like, see, at the end of the day, this is a very, very sexy boy, so <laughs> 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 we're gonna work with it like that, yes. <laughs> you know? So, um, yes, that. So I would tell any young girl out there, you are beautiful, you are strong, and your body, your looks does not define you and you are talented, you are blessed, and everywhere you go, you will be light. The most important part, always spread love. And don't let the society define what beauty should be oh. for you. That's oh. that. Okay. Sharon, you are such a queen, and it has been a delight oh. to have you on our Thank set. You. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank we look forward you. to all the amazing projects that you have to so work with. So many this year, I'm excited. I know, I'm excited for you as well. To enjoy more of these our Ubunke videos when you just watch, Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.